Hi guys, in this video I will check the Philips ultrasound power supply for its repair and service with you. The problem was that the ultrasound machine didn't turn up. And after checking the ultrasound machine, I realized that the power supply is with the power supply. As we can see in this video that I took out the power supply board from its housing so that I could check it more easily. At first, I visually checked all the parts of the board and didn't see any signs of burning or blackening of the board. The next option to check the board was to use a multimeter. I put the multimeter in the diode test mode and tested the important and essential parts that have the most failures in power supply repairs. Such as a diode bridge test, IC starter, power MOSFETs and transistors. And I didn't see any problems in their failure. At this stage, after the cold test of the parts, we have to do a hot test of the power supply. In this way, we have to connect the power supply to the city electricity using a test lamp, which I fully explained how to use the test lamp in previous videos. You can watch the repair video using the test lamp. After connecting the power supply with the test lamp to the city electricity, no excessive current consumption was observed. In these cases, when no problem is observed, the power capacitors, which are responsible for creating DC voltage in a completely smooth and uniform manner, should be checked using the tester. In the following, we will see that I remove two flat capacitors from the board and use a tester to measure the ESR value of the capacitor or the internal resistance of the capacitor, which was more than the permissible limit and should be replaced. After replacing the filter capacitors, we finally see the power supply test at work. In the following, I will explain a very complete explanation about all power supplies. Please subscribe and like us. A power supply is an electrical device that supplies electric power to an electrical load. The main purpose of a power supply is to convert electric current from a source to the correct voltage current and frequency to power the load. As a result, power supplies are sometimes referred to as electric power converters. Some power supplies are separate standalone pieces of equipment, while others are built into the load appliances that they power. Examples of the latter include power supplies found in desktop computers and consumer electronics devices. Other functions that power supplies may perform include limiting the current drawn by the load to save levels, shutting off the current in the event of an electrical fault, power conditioning to prevent electronic noise or voltage surges on the input from reaching the load, power factor correction, and storing energy so it can continue to power the load in the event of a temporary interruption in the source power, uninterruptible power supply. All power supplies have a power input connection, which receives energy in the form of electric current from a source and one or more power output or rail connections that deliver current to the load. The source power may come from the electric power grid, such as an electrical outlet, energy storage devices such as the batteries or fuel cells, generators or alternators, solar power converters or another power supply. 
The input and output are usually hardware circuit connection. Though some power supplies employ wireless energy transfer to power their loads without wired connections. Some power supplies have other types of input and output as well for functions such as external monitoring and control. Power supplies are categorized in various ways, including by functional features. For example, a regul regulated power supply is one that maintains constant output voltage or current dispute uh, variations in load current or input voltage. Conversely, the output and unregulated power supply can change significantly when its input voltage or load current changes. Adjustable power supplies allow the output voltage or current to be per programmed by mechanical controls or by means of a control input or both. An adjustable regulated power supply is one that is both adjustable and regulated. An isolated power supply has a power output that is electrically independent of its power input. This is in contrast to other power supplies that share a common connection between power input and output. Power supplies are packaged in different ways and classified accordingly. A bench power supply is a standalone desktop unit used in applications such as circuit test and development. Open frame power supplies have only a partial mechanical enclosure, sometimes consisting of only a mounting base. These are typically built into uh, machinery or other equipment. Rack mount power supplies are designed to be secured into standard electronic equipment racks. An integrated power supply is one that shares a common printed circuit board with its load. An external power supply AC adapter or power brick is a power supply located in the load's AC power cord that plugs into a wall outlet. A wall ward is an external power supply integrated with the outlet plug itself. These are popular in consumer electronics because of their safety. The hazardous uh, 120 or 240 volt main current is transform, transformed down to a safer voltage before it enters the appliance's body. Power supplies can be broadly divided into linear and switching types. Linear power converters process the input power directly, with all active power conversation components operating in their linear operating regions. In switching power converters, the input power is converted to AC or to DC pulses before processing by components that operate predominantly in nonlinear modes. Power is lost when components operate in the linear regions and consequently switching converters are usually more efficient than linear converters because their components spend less time in linear operating regions. DC power supplies an AC to DC power supply operates on a AC input voltage and generates a DC output voltage. Depending on application requirements, the output voltage may contain large or negligible amounts of AC frequency components, known as ripple voltage. Related to AC input voltage, frequency and the power supply's operation. A DC power supply operating on DC input voltage is called a DC to DC converter. 
this section focuses mostly on the AC to DC variant linear power supply in a linear power supply the AC input voltage passes through a power transformer and is then rectified and filtered to obtain a DC voltage the filtering reduces the amplitude of AC mains frequency present in the rectifier output and can be as simple as a single capacitor or more complex such as a pi filter the electric load tolerance of RIP dictates the minimum amount of filtering that must be provided by the power supply in some applications RIP can be entirely ignored for example in some battery charging applications the power supply consists of a just a transformer and a diode with a simple resistor placed at the power supply output to limit the charging current switched mode power supply in a switched mode power supply smps the ac mains input is directly rectified and then filtered to obtain a dc voltage the resulting DC voltage is then switched on and off at a high frequency by electronic switching circuitry thus producing an AC current that will pass through a high frequency transformer or inductor switching occurs at a very high frequency typically 10 kHz to 1 MHz thereby enabling the use of transformers and filter capacitors that are much smaller, lighter and less expensive than do those found in a linear power supplies operating at main frequency. After the inductor or transformer secondary, the high frequency AC is rectified and filtered to produce a DC output voltage. If the SMPS uses an uh, adequately isolated high frequency transformer the output will be electrically isolated from the mains this failure is often essential for safety switched mode power supplies are usually regulated and to keep the output voltage constant the power supply employs a feedback controller that monitors current drawn by the load the switching duty cycle increases as power output requirements increase you can read the continuation of the interesting topic of switching power supplies in the description and please like and subscribe us